It's Halloween season, everybody. Time to get spooked. Or something like this. Yeah, you read the title correctly and you are not tripping. If you follow the art site on social media, you might have seen Brazilian Mika before. She was created by an artist called Erin Artista on Twitter. They are a Brazilian artist and their drawing of Brazilian Miku quickly blew up, like in a matter of days, people were drawing Brazilian Miku all over the place. And we even got some more creative ladies and gentlemen drawing other versions of Miku from different places too. And it was a blast. It was even funnier when Twitter got unbanned in Brazil and I saw many art pieces of Brazilian Miku, but this time she was resignified for the purpose of the Brazilian art community getting back to the platform and I never felt more embraced by people who I don't even know and who don't even know me. It's really interesting how I can feel part of a community even if you're not known by anybody there. It's, it's funny, it's fun, it's cool. The thing is, recently, maybe because of this spooky season, people got some creative bursts again and every time this kind of thing happens, it seems like there's a perfect alignment of timing, algorithm and talent and something really special comes out of it. And yeah, I'm talking about Brazilian Sadako. This design was created by Lugost over on Twitter. I'm gonna link them in the description, check them out, great art. And it really caught my attention once I saw it because it's a very unexpected combination, to say the least. That's not something you wake up in the morning expecting to see on your phone screen. But that's definitely not something bad. Now, the design is very similar to Miku's one. It's obviously directly inspired by her, but it being applied on Sadako is quite unique and it really matches the overall Halloween tone. It's kind of creepy and yet very, very, very playful and I love it. It's funny now that I think of it, there's, there's always been some kind of love directed towards Brazilian culture in other media. We can trace it back to some anime and games, even the 80s and the 90s, mainly Japanese stuff. You know, Japan and Brazil have quite a long story together. Anyway, I'm not quite sure exactly what to think of it because I don't really understand how this came to be. Of course, there are a lot of cliches around it all. There's the whole soccer thing. People think we all watch soccer here in Brazil, which is more or less true to some extent, but people don't know about our passions for volleyball, for instance. There is an extensive use of yellow, blue and green because of our flag, but we are so much more than these tropes. Yet, I can't really complain about these stereotypes. I mean, be honest with me, do you know much about other countries? I don't know a lot about most countries, so uh, this usual depiction of Brazilian characters or Brazilian themed characters design is not really harmful, at least as far as I'm concerned. So it's all good, it's all good. So yeah, Brazilian Sadako is the latest iteration for the Brazilian design character thing and, and I love it. Honestly, I really love it. Uh, the curly hair, that was on point. That was a point, my friend. Nice detail. Shout out to Lugos once again for this design. Again, I'm linking their Twitter profile in the description. By the way, if you want to help your homie out, follow me on my social media. Links are also on the description. And before you close this video, happy Halloween. Treat yourself a little candy and a cozy dumb horror movie. Okay, bye.